And then the Lord said, Behold, there is a place by me, and thou shalt stand upon a rock. He said, There's a place by me, Moses. Go on that rock. You see right here? Stand upon that rock, Moses. Come on, read. And it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass, Moses. While my glory passeth by. While my glory pass you, Moses. Come on. That I will put thee in the cliff of the rock. I'm gonna put you in the cliff, Moses, because I tell you, if you see me, I have to kill you, Moses. Go in the cliff of the rock. Come on, read. And will cover thee with my hand. I'm gonna cover your face, Moses, with my hand. That means I got our body, I got our face. No, I'm gonna tell you, say, I am. That's right. Read. While I pass by, and I will take away my hand. And God said, I'm gonna take away my hand no more. No, I pass. I'm gonna remove my hand like this. Now we're going to remove my hand, Moses. What Moses see? Come on. And thou shalt see my back part. Moses see God, but Moses only see the back of God. That's right. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. The book of Daniel chapter 7 verse 9. Come on. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. Come on. And the ancient of days did sit. Who's the ancient of days? God. Jesus. He sits. To sit you must have a body. That's right. For you to sit down, you must have a body. When God said, come let us make man in our image, God must have an image. That's why God made man in his own image. Read. And the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow. To have garments on, brother, you must have a body. Correct? Whose garment was white as snow. Come on, read. Whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head. What? What God doing with head? If God do not have a body. Right. What up. God doing with head? The hair of God's head. Brother, this is our lies starting out this church. From all these pastors. You understand? Lies, brother. Come on, read. And the hair of his head, like the pure wool. Who have woolly here, brother? Negroes have woolly here. God is a Negro. God is a black man. That's right. Do you understand that? The hair of God has. Do you feel like God walking down the street like this? Huh? The hair of God had, brother. Read. His throne was like the fiery flame. God's throne was like the fiery flame. You understand? God sit in thrones, brother. That's what God looked like, bro. Right. Give me that in Exodus 18, verse 33. Read Let me show you about God. All these lies stop when we come on the scene, brother. Jeez. Read it for me. Read on. Read and the Lord out. spake unto Moses face to face as a man. You hear what God speak to Moses? I? Not a woman, not a spirit, as a man. Read one more time. And the Lord spake unto Moses face to face as a man speaketh unto his friend. You hear that, brother, man? So all these lies in the church, that's a lie. God have a body. You understand? God have a mouth, God have a ears. So why are you send a prayer? If God is just a little puff of smoke. You send a prayer to a smoke, brother. You send a prayer to a, 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 a spirit, brother. That makes sense? When Christ died on the cross, 
You understand? Two men sit and see them going up. You understand? Why the soccer white man want to go up there? Don't you, you make the white man wiser than you. When God tell I find out all it, ways up, knowledge and give it unto you. Yes, you understand? Read it one more time again. The book of Exodus chapter 33 verse 11. Come on. And the Lord spake unto Moses face to face. As what? As a man speaketh unto his friend. God a body. Right. You understand? Don't even the so-called white people know that God have a body. Why they worship in the synagogue up there? Why they keep the Sabbath? You understand? Because they want repentance. They want salvation from God. You understand that? So when they tell that God do not have a body and God do not have an image, you understand? They're still in what? The slave sense of you, my brother. You understand? Jump up to verse 18. Watch this. Come verse on. Verse 18. Uh -huh. And he said, I beseech thee. And he said what? I beseech thee. And he said, I beseech you. That's Moses talking to God. He said, God, I beseech you. Come on. Show me thy glory. He said, God, show me your glory. Can Moses understand? You understand about God? He knows that if you see God, you have to die. But he said, God, I still want to see your glory. Come on. And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before thee. He said, I got to make all my goodness pass before you, Moses. Come on. And I will proclaim the name of the Lord before thee. And he said, I got to proclaim the name of the Lord before you, Moses. Watch this. Come on. And will be gracious to whom I will be gracious. That's what God said, brother. So all these Christians talking about God loving, but God is the I. Got to be gracious to who I want to show gracious to. I got to love who I want to love. You can't tell God who to love, brother. Come on. And will be gracious to whom I will be gracious. And will show mercy on whom I will show hear mercy. That? That's God who show mercy, bro. You understand? We only can talk. We cannot do what God did, brother. You understand? We like to talk. We like to talk for God. You understand? We want to make up our own story for God. Watch this. Come on. And he said. Come over here, brother man. Come over here let me talk. Come on. Read. Exodus chapter 33 verse 20 and he said thou canst not see my face You are God said that means God must have a body to have a face right, right. So all his lies bro, you're gonna destroy that God said Moses you cannot see my face. Why? For there shall no man see me and live. He said Moses if you see my face Moses I have to kill you Moses Right But Moses still persistent he want to see God's glory. You are God said come on and then the Lord said, Behold, there is a place by me, and thou shalt stand upon a rock. He said, There's a place by me, Moses. Go on that rock. You see right here? Stand upon that rock, Moses. Come on, read. And it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass, Moses. While my glory passeth by. While my glory pass you, Moses. Come on. That I will put thee in the cliff of the rock. I'm going to put you in the cliff, Moses, because I tell you, if you see me, I have to kill you, Moses. Go in the cliff of the rock. Come on, read. And will cover thee with my hand. I'm going to cover your face, Moses, with my hand. That means that God have a body and God have a face. No, God going to tell you, say, I am hand. That's right. Read. While I pass by, and I will take away my hand. And God said, I'm going to take away my hand no more. No, I pass. I'm going to remove my hand like this. Now I'm going to remove my hand, Moses. What Moses see? Come on. And thou shalt see. My back part. Moses see God, but Moses only see the back of God. That's right. You understand it, brother, man? So you know all these lies in the church. The lies what the pastor teach in the church, they do not know the Bible. All these pastors go to theology school, brother, man. You understand them learn from master, yes. which is an so-called white man. Yes, he's not white, he's red. He's a devil. What the Bible speaks about. Yes, you understand? He said, you gonna what? See my back part. Come on. What? My face shall not be seen. You see what I'm saying? My face you cannot see. You know what I'm 32 verse 39. You know what God said? The same God where you call a puff of smoke. The same God. What he said, nobody ever see. Watch this. You know what God said right here. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 39. Uh -huh. See now. See now. That I, even I, am he. And there is no God with me. You know what God said? There is no other gods. So all these Arabs and these talking about other gods and God. No. There's no other God but one God. Read. I kill. What? I kill. So if you die in any style, any style you die, a boss run you over right now. Is God kill you? 
If a man pass by and shoot you up, is God kill you? Right. You don't have no power, brother. Come on, read. I kill. I kill. And I make alive. And I made alive. Yes. You understand? You get out of saying that when you die and not a baby born, that's what God did. Read. I wound. I wound. You and break up. You lose a feet. God is the one who wounds you. Right. Come on. I wound. And I heal. And when you healed up, it's God heal you up. Yes, it's not you. It's not the medication now. The the, the plaster the doctor put in your feet heal you up. It's God heal you. Read. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Where God said, "There is no man cannot deliver out of God's hand." So that same brother right here, that wise ass, because that's what I call him right here. You understand? You feel like he wise. God compared him as a mule and a donkey. You understand? That's what God said. If you say you don't believe this Bible, God compared as a donkey and a mule. Read it for me. Find me right here. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1, and verse 3. Read. The ox knoweth his owner. The ox. The ox is a dumb donkey, correct? God said, The ox know where he belong. Who he came from? Come on. And the ass, his master's crib. And a jackass know his master crib. You what God said about the Israelite. Come on. What? Israel does not know. You what God said? The Israelites do not know that you are the Israelites. Right. God leave a sign that you should know in the last day that we are the people, brother. Right. Slavery. Right. That's a sign. The curse thick Negroes. Right. right. No other nation go to captivity and slave cargo ship. Bring it God said, yes, we go to slavery. But do you go the way all these people go to captivity? Bring it out. No. Right. Give me that, Daniel. No hand hurts. Find that. Your God said to the Israelites. No nation can compare and say, yes, we go to slavery like this. Pack like Saudi. 77 million throw overboard before we reach America. You know how much? 77 million Negroes was thrown overboard on the slave car slave ship. Bring it up. Read it for me. The book of Daniel, chapter 9, verse 11. Read. Yeah. Yay. All Israel have transgressed thy law. All of us transgress. That's why we came to captivity. That's why we came to America. You wonder why America is not your land. You understand? He said, all of us transgress. That's why we came to America like this. Read. Even by departing. Even by departing. Come on. That they might not obey thy voice. That's why we never obey what? The Bible. The same way like what the brother said, I don't believe the book. That's God. That's what he said. Come on. Therefore, therefore, the curse is poured upon us. A curse, brother. On the earth, there is no nation go to the thing that we go to day by day. Right. right. That's why the brother asked you earlier, do the Chinese ever get shot down in the street? You see that on camera? No. The Arab man? No. Right the Chinese man? No. All these all, all the nations, you don't see they get shot down in America like how we do, brother? Mm. And camera, and the judge said to the police, you're not guilty. You understand? Come on. The curse is poured upon us. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses. And the oath, the thing what written in the law of Moses, Deuteronomy 28. Come on. The servant of God. Because... We have sinned against him. We have sinned against God. I was still doing it right now. Right. Because today is a Sabbath day. You know that when the Bible coming out, your head must not cover? You know that? You know that's a sin? In the Bible. In the Bible, when the Bible reading, anytime the Bible coming out, Thank your head cannot be covered. Thank you. All praises. Give the a hand for that. You understand? Read on. Come on. Whole, whole heaven. And then you give me that. Come on. The servant of God, because we have sinned against him. We have sinned. No other nation sinned before God, for Israelites, the twelve tribes. The other nation can do anything they want to do. Because the law was not given unto them, brother. Right. Right. The law given unto the Israelites when we made the Exodus, bro. The Bible was given to the Israelites. Come on, read. The book of Daniel, chapter 9, verse 12. Come on. And he has confirmed his word. And he has confirmed his word. What? Slavery. Come on. Which he spake against us. And which he speak against us. We have got to speak this against us when we make the exodus. You understand? Come on, read. Which he speak against us and against our judges that judged us. And against our judges that judge us, come on. By bringing upon us a great evil. The great evil was slavery. 77 million was thrown over in the sea when we come across. You understand? The Native American Indian, around 500 and something million. Right. You understand? They kill here and put them on what? Reservation. You see that? That's God people, brother. In the 1600s, they came here. You understand? 1619, we was on 
The slave cargo ship coming to America. The name of Trump's allowance is slave trade, brother. Free. Bring it upon us a great evil. Come on. For under the whole heaven have not been done as hath been done upon Jerusalem. Nothing, brother. No other nation cannot compare. Shock of slavery, brother. We are the only nation go through that. That make you know that we are the Israelites, brother. Bring it on. We are the Israelites, brother. Yes. God said not under the old heaven. Right. What happened to us do not happen to no other nation, brother. Right. Every nation said, yeah, we go to captivity, but what? On slave cargo ship? On boats? Huh? Never! Bro. You see what I'm saying? So I'm here to show you that, brother. We are the people, brother. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth